This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so the way that it seems to be coming across from various people online that if the Saudi Arabia deal doesn't come through, then we won't get to see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. Eddie Hearn has already stated that he's already looking at alternate opponents for Anthony Joshua. Now, firstly, okay, we've already covered the whole Saudi Arabia thing. They have new people running the boxing, i.e. new people who are putting forward the money, okay? Now, does that mean that the Joshua Wilder fight will collapse? No, it doesn't. It just means that they're probably going to restart negotiating again is probably what's going to happen. But even if that's not on the table, I don't know why that fight can only happen if the Saudis are involved. I don't get that. What's wrong with it being in Qatar or it being in the UAE or in Nigeria? You know, both Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder have heritage coming from Nigeria. That would be perfect setting. And I'm sure there's people there with money who can front it. Or if not, what's wrong with America? What's wrong with the UK? What's wrong with that? Well, because they're only going to get 20 or 25 million each rather than 50 to 75 or even 100 million in Saudi. I'm sorry, is 25 million not good enough to get out of bed for? I don't get it. I mean, you can still fight. I mean, both of them... I'm sure that their bank balances are quite healthy. I'm sure they're not struggling to pay the bills. All right. So I don't know why that would be an issue. If it's not going to be in Saudi, okay, so move on. And if worst case scenario happens, if we can even call it that, then have it in the UK. Okay, so there may not be as much money, but as I said, 20, 25 million, whatever it's going to be each, is nothing to be turned down, is it? I don't get that. I really don't get it. So hopefully... Hopefully that uh, they have that same way of thinking. I don't know why particularly Eddie Hearn is looking at alternate opponents and whatever else. Now, I understand if the fight's not going to be until March or April, if it is going to be through the Saudis, because obviously that's where the money's going to be, then maybe Joshua's going to have a run out, maybe Wilder's going to have a run out. But there again, do you really want to run out? What if a slip-up happens? Hey, what division, one punch changes anything and everything. It always does. So anyway, the point is, hopefully it ain't over, because I want to see this fight. Win, lose, or draw for either one of them. Okay, great. It's fine. You're supposed to win. You're supposed to lose sometimes. Okay? It doesn't matter. The important thing is you get in the ring and you give it a go. And if you pick up a few quid along the way, which they will, just get it on. Just get the fight on. But I will maintain, as per the previous video in the WBC latest rankings, if I'm Wilder, if I'm Joshua, I'm telling the WBC to jog squarely on. We ain't going to pay no sanction fees. Don't order this as a final eliminator. We don't care. That's what I would do. But anyway, as I said, I don't know why everything is dependent on what happens with the Saudis. I'm sure there's money out there. There has to be money out there. I'm sure there is. It has to be. Nigeria, I'm sure, would love to host that fight. Qatar and Dubai and wherever. China, Japan. There'll be plenty of places that will want to host it and front up a lot of money for it as well. But worst case scenario, well, you're just going to have to take the poor man's purse of 20 million each by fighting in the UK. Poor buggers. Drop your thoughts below. Click on the subscribe. Catch your next video.